kind of like a triangle. It could go a myriad of different ways. Anyway, right, we'll get it down there. Get on that end, Todd, right beside my bucket. Very slow down, I can't see. You're, you're way ahead of me. While you're still hooked to it, push this back around as far as I can. Inform. They're all right. It, this, this side out here is the bottom. I could probably just roll it completely over and it would be back there against the bank and facing the right way, I think. That should be getting real close. We may want to measure again. Yeah, four. If you get on this side, I can rock it up, and then you can hold it, and I can get under it again. Yeah, four. I would, I would like to take it that way a little bit. It kind of rocked up on that corner and flipped toward the bridge. Yeah, you're going to have to be careful of that dozer blade, too, because it'd be pretty easy once it rocks up for you to scratch it pretty bad. Hold it up. Let me get another bite out down lower. Yeah, 
just about perfect. It's, it's about 10 foot to the right. If you can get a hold of that point and pull on it a little there. Try to rotate it around. So ideally, it would still just slide straight toward Aaron, basically. I mean, I think it needs to rotate clockwise some, personally. Yeah, I agree. Don't know that we can get on the bridge right there. Got to go on back. Yes. Well, I think it's going to look better, too, if it's you know, a little bit. I mean, I know it's perpendicular to where you're sitting, but you got to kind of look at it from this road as well. It's sitting at a pretty good angle. I think we may need to twist a little clockwise. You can spin it right there, Todd. Would it help at all if Aaron dug a little bit of that that is pushed up in front of it? Would that help at all, you think? It couldn't hurt. I'd say just keep doing that. It moved a good three or four foot. I think that's good. Go ahead and get out of there. I gotta say, fellas, I think that looks great. Yeah, I agree.